Hi there. So right now uh, I'm standing uh, in the middle of uh, our uh, new uh, cocoa plantation. So yeah, I thought to uh, extend our existing uh, plantation. So we had this uh, forest. So I thought uh, why not uh, plant some you know, cocoa. Yeah, get some cocoa out of this uh, forest. So, yeah, uh, as a as an attempt to experiment with that. So, yeah, I got started. So let me show you. Uh, yeah, it's just a beginning. So uh, it's not uh, no, uh, it's in the first stage. So just planted those uh, saplings. Been a, in a couple of uh, uh, some plants are couple of months old some plants are you know couple of uh, year old so uh, let me show you the plants <coughs> so these are all the cocoa plants as you can see some are very tiny so I have uh, implemented you know uh, micro sprinkler irrigation So I have kept a uh, distance of almost uh, uh, 3 meters uh, in between the plants and as you can see here uh, it's a micro sprinkler uh, with the uh, you know, pressure regulating valve so these are the newly planted uh, uh, grafted uh, uh, cocoa so there is another one so these are at the early stage mm, yeah this is the one and there are a couple of more so yeah they also need to be planted and this is the micro sprinkler with the wall where I can regulate the pressure so these are the two uh, tanks each 2000 liter capacity 2000 plus 2000 4000 liter capacity uh, tanks uh, for for our uh, cocoa and nutmeg uh, drip irrigation system so what we have down here is so this is a filter so as the water comes from this uh, tank so this is a filter so first uh, we have a cyclone filter so which do the filtration on uh, centrifugal force so yeah basically it will uh, filter out large uh, particles and uh, those large dirt particles sand particles will be stored here there is a uh, drainage you can wash out those uh, uh, particles the next step is yeah, it goes down here this is a mesh filter so uh, yeah it will filter uh, all the remaining uh, particles uh, in the water so minute uh, particles and uh, these are here you can see uh, uh, air valves uh, air pressure release valves so initially i yeah i put this uh, valve so uh, still i was not getting uh, enough pressure because of uh, you know air getting stuck uh, in the pipe so in this uh, pipe so then again i uh, applied one more air filter but still i was not getting enough, enough pressure then i realized that uh, the you know air is getting trapped uh, in this somewhere here in this section so then finally I put this, uh, yeah, it's not uh, exactly a air release valve, but just a pipe which go up straight up till yeah, above the height of this uh, you know, top top height of this uh, you know, water tank. So finally, yeah, once I, you know, after putting this uh, uh, air release system, so I was getting uh, enough pressure. 
so yeah since uh, we are dependent on you know, borewell water system so we need to go with this uh, filtration so if you are depending on uh, well water so you may not require uh, uh, water filters so if the water is uh, pure there is no considerable amount of uh, you know, uh, sand particles so you, you you can avoid this you can directly pump with the regular uh, filter i believe uh, where you can directly you know apply on the uh, uh, you know uh, water pump uh, outlet yeah. so these are this is our new cocoa plantation so uh, as you can see here so before uh, uh, i started using uh, uh, these uh, micro sprinklers uh, which i showed you right so so this one here so there is a uh, valve and uh, yeah, this is the micro sprinkler so i was using uh, this kind of uh, drippers so here you can see so i used to put a, a 4 mm pipe this is a, a 16 mm pipe uh, these are also called uh, emitters then uh, here i used to give the uh, 16 mm uh, pipe which will go to the uh, the root system of the plant so the problem is you know uh, yeah i have to remove all these uh, emitters since i am using uh, borewell water so the typical problem with the borewell water is you have to filter the water so even though i went with the cyclone filter and the mesh filter so i was still you know this uh, emitter will get uh, uh, blocked so for example if i show you if i open those emitters see i just opened it so you can see here uh, let me focus yes see so this is even after uh, this one so there is a, a thin uh, a diaphragm or a kind of a, uh, looks like a rubber thing so yeah uh, to clean this you have to remove this let me try to remove this if i blow from other side it will come out so i'm just blowing this yep so now so i can remove this uh, here you can see this there is a thin film so you have to clean this film so you have to wash this regularly so it's a transparent uh, film so once you wash it will become transparent so yeah so this is the a typical problem with the uh, drip irrigation with the emitter so i had to abandon abandon this uh, this kind of system so i went with the micro sprinkler thanks for watching this video i'll see you on another interesting video bye